I talked with Emory economist Dr. Solani Vastani about what may, may be to come. The Fed announced earlier that they're going to increase in interest rates in March. Um, and um, one of the driving forces for that was to control inflation. In your way, with this uncertainty that we have, uh, a refund check would be pretty nice to have right about now. A refund check is phenomenal because you need to get the money right quick because then you have more to spend, especially when you need it the most. Accounting professor Usha Ratcliffe tells me the average refund this year just shy of $3,000. The average Social Security benefits that people draw are about 20000 every year. And if you are just relying on Social Security, it will be very difficult to make ends meet. I talked with Goizetta School of Business at Emory economist Tom Smith about how Atlanta's job market has evolved. I think Atlanta is an ideal place to raise a family. It's an ideal place to set up a business. I mean, I'm so bullish on this area. Um, I think that the business climate is, um, is very, very good. It's a very solid place to set up shop. Emory University professor David Schweidel researches internet and social media safety. Just like we talk with children about stranger danger, those ideas have to carry over into the online space. 11 Alive Joe Ripley reports on a brand new program at Emory University that is specially tailored for the life in business after service. Retired Lieutenant General Ken Keene's pictures only tell part of his 38-year military career. His bond with veterans is a matter of business. Businesses need veterans and veterans need businesses. And while the need for skilled workers continues to grow, more than 9,000 people came to the Construction Ready Career Expo this evening in Atlanta. The Career Expo gave people, especially school-aged kids, a chance to learn about careers in construction and the skilled trades. Officials say these expos are helping to fill the void in an industry struggling to find workers. We partner with Skills USA. They're another organization that's out here, and we help host all of these really cool competitions like the one going on behind me. In room 244 at Roswell High School, students are transforming their dreams. I want to be an engineer when I grow up. Into something tangible. Okay. Now, nice and easy here. Now let the blade stop spinning. Learning uh, a real tangible and in-demand skill while they're still in school. But the other reason why it matters is, is the industry that's connected to this class, the construction industry, is facing a massive worker shortage. Roswell High School. In Atlanta. So a local nonprofit is preparing young people in underserved communities for those jobs. The, people the Atlanta area nonprofit Construction Ready is training the next generation of hard hats. While major. What is the role of social media platforms in upholding the First Amendment's freedom of speech? It is a major question facing a number of companies, the latest Spotify. Joined now by Alexander Volick, Associate Professor of Law at Emory University. I think this Georgia trial really has the ability to kind of capture the entire nation's attention in a way we haven't seen since the OJ trial. Michael Meyer is the acting director of the International Humanitarian Law Clinic at Emory Law. Uh, Michael, people throw in the Geneva Convention. They throw that around in, in the phrase war crimes. Both sides accusing each other this time. Are both sides right? 23-year-old Stephen Breyer, one of three remaining liberal justices, has indicated he plans to retire. But let's talk about what this means with a scholar of constitutional law and the federal judiciary, currently a professor of law at Emory University here in Atlanta, who clerked for Justice Sonia Sotomayor, Fred Smith Jr. Thank you so much for being here tonight, Professor Smith. Federal health officials say you can now purchase birth control pills over the counter without having to see a doctor first. Emory Law Professor Alicia Hughes says the FDA's decision is huge here in Georgia. Roughly 35% of Georgia counties are in what's called a maternal care desert. Welcome on into Pattern, the first climate change talk show. I'm Steph A. Rome. And I'm Jordan Steele. And this company is run by college students. We are joined by Benny Owanga, the company's founder, and Chinello Addy, the company's business strategist. Thank 
When the power goes out, we panic, but in many places, electricity is a luxury. Now, two law students at Emory University have created a product that they hope will change how people live and do business in Africa. Our vision as a company is to really electrify the continent. Emory Law School's Kay Levine says that will help prosecutors build their case. I think it's a good deal for the government to get so many different people from so many different pockets of the conspiracy to be willing to testify against. Honest vote and vote count in 2020. Governor Brian Kemp hit with criticism surrounding the 2020 election. Along with David Perdue. Dr. Cecil Bennett says heat exhaustion is the most common illness, but heat stroke can be deadly. The person is no longer sweating. Um, their skin becomes very warm. Their temperature can be as high as 104. Every day, my patients are asking me about boosters, especially my seniors. Dr. Cecil Bennett, a family practice physician in Nuna, says he's been telling his patients they do not need a third shot unless they have a compromised immune system. Dr. Cecil Bennett of Noonan Family Medicine says also watch out for heat stroke and heat exhaustion. The important thing is to always know what your body is doing. Providers prescribe opioids, and then we have these illicit opioids. The spike that we're seeing now is due specifically to illicit, illegal fentanyl coming into this country. The Central Georgia Peach Orchard is seeing little buds as the month winds down. Abby Kosoris takes you to Crawford County and breaks down how the lack of rain may bring some struggles to this season's peach crop. The weather may be changing the path of those home runs, not by a lot, though, but by some. A new study from Dartmouth College in New Hampshire evaluated how rising global temperatures could be impacting the former America's pastime. <laughs> um, just, just we're, we're, we're uh, hopeful um, and optimistic. We hope that we can see fair deals for everybody. Right. Well, we saw, I'll echo Steve, we saw sort of a fade off starting in February with the writer's strike uh, looming. Now, with uh, the actors on strike, we saw a very steep decline. I would estimate around 80% of our film related bookings. Um, That's right, pizza sales were up on Thanksgiving Eve. It's one of the busiest times for pizza. The foodies at Mellow Mushroom Pizza Restaurant say their sales go up 66%. That's com been smelling pizza here in the studio for over an hour. And I want you to get a taste of something vegan that is baking here in the Bluff City Life Kitchen. With plant-based options becoming more prevalent, I had to let you know about the new vegan pizzas from Mellow Mushroom, and I had to invite the owner of Mellow Mushroom there in Germantown, Stephen Meek, who is joining me. Stephen Meek. Kind of like Labor Day weekend, we right. do our big, you know, Dragon Con and everything. Well, this is for the Momos, the MomoCon at the Georgia World Congress Center. And that's going to start today, actually, goes through Sunday, Momo, M-O-M-O-C-O-N dot com. Yeah, it's, it's, it takes, like, the cosplay and the anime and everything and the costumes and the games to a, a different level. Okay. Covers of cosplay, video games, comics, and anime gathered for the final day of Momocon at the Georgia World Congress Center. Welcome back, everyone. Most of us are familiar with the term Boy Scout, but many families don't know or really understand how boys and girls of any age can benefit from scouting. That was the inspiration for BSA Parents, a not-for-profit organization launched by parents of scouts and friends of the Boy Scouts of America. Here to tell us more about all of these benefits is BSA spokesperson Mitch Leff and scout parent Maurice Blackwood. New tonight, a former altar boy is suing the Archdiocese of Atlanta and he claims a priest at St. Joseph's Church in Dalton sexually assaulted him. I think it was clear that it was an opportunity to remove the children from the church property and have them in a, in a place where you could be alone. New at six, more than a half dozen new accusers have come forward. They claim a former instructor sexually abused them at a North Georgia boarding school decades ago. There's no way that these victims can ever be made whole again. But what you can do is, is provide something, uh, some help that will help them address it going forward. Today is National Honeybee Day. To bring awareness of the importance of honeybees, James Marlowe with the South Face Institute, a sustainability nonprofit in Atlanta, says they have been hosting two hives for 13 years. Into the future. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. 